Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on a new PC or on a PC that you don't need the information that is on it. So this is not a dual boot installation and the instructions I'm gonna show you in this video will wipe the internal hard drive of the PC. Installing Kali Linux on a PC is a straightforward operation. I can summarize it in three steps. The first step is to get a USB drive that is 8 GB or more and is 3.0, so a fast USB drive. The second step is to get the Kali ISO image from Kali.org and image it to the USB drive with a software called Rufus and I'm gonna show you the details of all this. And the third step is to insert the USB drive in the PC, start the PC from the USB drive and install Kali Linux on the PC. So let's start first by showing you how to download the Kali Linux ISO from Kali.org. To download the Kali ISO image, open a web browser and then go to Kali.org. In Kali.org, click on download and then you need to choose installer images. So click on it. And here choose the architecture that is suitable for your PC. I think that all PCs now have 64-bit architecture. So choose this one which is recommended. And at the time of this video, it is Kali 2024.3. So click on the arrow here to download it. And then choose save. And the download will begin. I downloaded it earlier because it's a 4 gigabytes image. So I'm going to cancel this download and choose the one that I downloaded earlier. And after the Kali image is downloaded, you need to download Rufus. So let's open a new tab and then go to rufus.ie and in rufus.ie scroll almost to the middle and choose the latest version of Rufus Portable. So let's download it too and I'm gonna save it. And here it is downloaded. So the next step is to take the USB key and put it in your PC. Make sure that you are using a USB key that you don't need the information on because Rufus is gonna wipe everything on the USB key and replace it with a Kali image. So let me insert it in my PC now. And now we need to launch Rufus. So let's open the downloads folder. And this is Rufus. Double click on it to launch it. And then click on yes if prompted. And because it is the first time we're launching Rufus, it's asking us if we wanna do automatic updates. So I'm gonna click on yes and Rufus will launch. And here make sure that you're selecting the correct USB drive because it will be completely wiped. When you select the correct USB drive, click on select to select the Kali ISO. So you need to go to the downloads folder where you downloaded the Kali image and then select it and then click on open. So Rufus will populate everything you need here. All you have to do is click on start and here it will give you an option to write the USB key in ISO or in DD image. So choose write in DD image mode and then click on OK. So this is the warning I was telling you about, about wiping the USB key entirely. So if you're sure that you don't need the data on it, click on OK to continue. And depending on the speed of your USB key and on your hard drive, it might take seconds or it might take minutes. Here in my case, it is very fast, so it will take seconds to finish. And here it is almost finished. And now the imaging of the USB key is finished. So now the next step is to take the USB key from the PC where you imaged it and put it in the PC where you want to install Kali and install Kali. And let me show you this. So this is USB key. I'm inserting it now in the PC and I'm gonna start the PC. And when you start the PC, you need to press the hot boot key that will take you to the startup menu so that you can choose the USB key to start from. And I'm using a Dell PC here. So the hot boot key is F12. So here I'm starting the PC and let's press the hot boot key. And this is it starting. And here you need to choose in the way boot, the USB key that you put. In my case, it is a SanDisk USB key. So I'm gonna choose it and then I'm gonna press on enter on the keyboard and the Kali installation program will start. So choose the first option, which is graphical install and hit enter. And here you need to follow the prompts to continue the installation. So in my case, I'm gonna leave the language on English and then I'm gonna click on continue on the bottom right corner and choose your own country and then press continue on the bottom right corner once again. And depending on your keyboard language, choose the one that suits your keyboard language and then click on continue. In my case, it is American United States. So this is the installation program now gathering some information. And on this screen, select yes and then click continue. 
and on this screen it is detecting the network hardware so here i chose the wi-fi card and i'm gonna click on continue and now it's gonna present me with a list of the wi-fi networks in my area i'm gonna choose my wi-fi network here and i'm gonna connect to it so here it is and then i'm gonna click on continue and here it's asking you to choose the security protocol of your Wi-Fi network. In 99.9% .9 of the cases, it is WPA, WPA2. If you're still using WAP, I advise you to change it on your router because it's not a secure protocol. So choose WPA, WPA2, and then click on continue. And here, put the password for your Wi-Fi network. So I put mine, and then I'm going to click on continue. And now it will connect to the network and here it is connecting and here it will ask you what do you want to name your pc keep it as it is kali and then click on continue of course you can name it also something else and for the domain name in my case it is my home installation so i'm not gonna put anything here and simply i'm gonna click on continue and here it's asking you to put your name i'm gonna simply put kst for knowledge sharing tech and then continue and for the username also, I'm going to leave it at KST. It will propose it automatically here for you. So this is the username that you're going to use to log in to your Kali workstation once we finish the installation. Here you need to provide a strong password for your username. And here choose your own time zone and then click on continue. So here on the partition, choose guided, use entire disk and then click on continue. And here it's showing you the disk. So in my computer, it detected two disks. The first one is a USB key, which is the sun disk. And the second one is the internal hard drive where I'm going to install Kali. So it is the first one in my case. I recognize it from its name, which is THU. So select the drive where you want to install Kali and then click on continue. And on this option here, it will give you the option to partition the drive. I advise you to keep it as simple as possible. So put all the files in one partition and then click on continue. And this is where Kali will delete everything on the drive. So it selects automatically finish partitioning and write changes to disk. So keep it selected and then click on continue. And this is the final warning before wiping the drive. So select yes here, of course, if you're sure that you want to wipe the drive and then select continue. So here it will ask you if you want to install additional desktops on top of the XFCE desktop that it will install by default. I don't want to add anything, so I'm going to simply click on continue. So this is the installation finished. Now all you need to do is select continue so that the PC restarts. When the PC is restarting, remove the USB drive from it so that it will not start from it in case it has automatic start from the USB. So here I'm going to wait for it to restart and i'm gonna just wait and now i'm gonna remove the usb drive and this is usb drive and now kali should start so this is kali starting and this is a splash screen just leave it it will take a couple of seconds and then it will start and here it will ask you to put your username and password remember we chose as a username kst and as a password i've put a very strong password so here it is logging in for the first time and this is the installation finished now i want to show you how to make sure that your kali installation has the latest updates to do this you need to open a terminal window so here i'm gonna show you how to upgrade it and update it in one command so this is the command you need to put sudo apt update and end sudo apt upgrade minus yes and hit enter and here it will ask you to put the password for your user. So put the password for the user and hit enter. So for this question on automatically restarting the services, you need to answer it yes. On your keyboard, press on tab to select yes and press on enter. And it will continue and it will restart the services automatically for you. So this is the update and the upgrade finished now. The next post installation step you need to do is to change the default root password. So key in this command sudo password root and hit enter. And here put a new strong password for your root account and then hit enter and you need to confirm it. And now your Kali installation is more secure. And this concludes the installation of Kali. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.